What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are installing PFSense 2.4.5 open source firewall on VMware Workstation Player. So let's jump right in. The first thing we need to do is download PFSense ISO from the PFSense website. Let's open our favorite browser, in my case Firefox, and let's go to google.com. On google.com, we type in the search box, pfSense and hit enter. Usually, it is the first link that appears on the search result page. On the pfSense website, we click on the download menu link on the upper right hand corner. We scroll down to the select image to download section. In this case, we will select AMD 64-bit and we choose ISO from the installer drop-down menu and click download. Enjoying the video so far? Knowledge is meant to be free. I never charge for my videos. I like my viewers and subscribers to get good high quality content the best I can put it together. In order to create awesome videos for you guys, I need your help. You can help the channel by supporting it by becoming a Patreon. With every grain of sand, we can top off the can. That way, we can purchase better filming and audio equipment. You can visit my Patreon page by clicking on the link in the description down below. After the download has finished, we are going to decompress our ISO file. Now we head over to VMware Workstation Player and we double click. At this point, we will use the free version. If you have a license, please add it below and press continue. The VMware Workstation player has loaded, we can click on create new virtual machine. In our situation, we are going to choose the pfSense ISO file from the download directory that we downloaded previously. VMware Workstation player will analyze the ISO file and determine the best settings. At this point, we can rename our virtual machine and choose a desired location. In my case, I will make a new folder on an SSD drive. After we set our desired disk size, in my case 20 gigabytes, we click next. Here, you get a summary of the configuration for review. We click finish. At this point, the VMware console window will appear and your virtual machine will start up. The PFSense installer will start up from the ISO file right into the installer. At this point, it's very simple. We click Accept, later OK to install PFSense. We choose default keyboard layout and auto disk partitioning UFS and we wait. Right now, the installer is extracting the files onto the disk. And we wait. Okay. 
Usually here, we don't need to do anything extra, so we click no. And reboot. After boot is complete, I'll click on the button that says I finished installing. This will unmount the ISO file on the virtual machine. In my testing scenario, I will just configure one interface. Configuration of the interface is done. We are now prompted with the PNSense main screen. Now we can open our favorite web browser and head over to PFSense Web Configurator website. After the page has loaded, we tap our username and password which is admin and password is pfsense, lowercase. After a successful logon, we are prompted by the pfsense configuration wizard. For our demo purposes, we will just set the Google DNS server and click next. Set our time zone, in my case, Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. On this step, we can configure our one interface. For our demo, we will leave it as default. It's very important to change the default password. And we click next. After we are done with the wizard, we click reload. This will reload all the configuration on PSNs and we wait. We get a confirmation page and we click finish. Finally, we get the PFSense main configuration page and we are finished for this demo. In future videos, we'll dive in more details on configuring this open source firewall. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, leave a comment right below, Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for future videos. If you're interested in anything I use, everything is in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care everybody.